WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento with the Mid-Afternoon Update. Uh, we've got everything almost green. There's only a few things that are red, mainly the gold and the treasury bonds. Oh, a few incidental commodities that people don't look at, like uh, hogs and cattle. But other than that, we've got a very, very strong day across the board. Dow Jones up 150, the S&P's up about 30, NASDAQ up another 200. So the whole talk is the AI, artificial intelligence, is going to save the world. Uh, they don't give us a time frame on that, but uh, that's what they're talking about. Very, very bullish things happening. Uh, Oracle came out with tremendous earnings, exploded to the upside. So, you know, these uh, numbers are being uh, talked about just about every five seconds on Bloomberg and uh, CNBC. So it's very interesting to see how these things uh, unfold. Frankly, folks, I haven't seen – this is nothing like what happened – hold on one second – this is nothing like what happened during the dot-com bubble, folks. In the dot-com bubble, if one of the companies had a sales uh, on the sales force, the phone would ring. Even before anybody answered it, the stock would jump 10%. That's how crazy. This is not that kind of a market, folks. This is just a very broad-based rally that uh, uh, breaking out above that Fibonacci number at 43, uh, 30. Uh, certainly uh, exposed uh, more strength coming in the market. I'm going to be talking about that more at length when we come to our show today. So let's uh, kind of remember that. Also, by the way, today our guest is Paula Webb, and then tomorrow our guest will be uh, Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. And he's got some really interesting timing dates coming up here. But uh, this uh, market that you're seeing right now is indicative of a blow-off type market. I know you might find that hard to believe, but... After looking at these charts for so many years, it's got all the earmarks of a market that is just bringing in everybody in at the wrong time. And you know what, folks? If you're not already long, you're not in at the wrong time. You're just out. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting for sure. We're having great volatility. In fact, the volatility is holding up okay above uh, 14 today. And that's after another 150-point move in the Dow. So we're going to take a few breaks. Take a break here. We'll give you right back with uh, more of Trade What You See. And so we'll be right back. Bye. 